Hi everyone. So in this video, we will be studying the mazes related to the radiology section, which has been frequently asked as previous year questions in NEET PG and INI CET. So the first image is of angiomyolipoma. Angiomyolipoma is basically the tumor that is having angio means blood vessels, muscles, myo, and lipoma means lipid laden fat cells. So how we will identify it? In this CT image, basically we can see these are the two kidneys and in the kidneys there is blackish shadow. This black colored is due to fat. So it is representative of angiomyolipoma. Then there is another image. This is another CT image and here this is one kidney and this is another kidney. So in this we can see here is a growth in the kidney and basically it is invading the capsule and it is going outside the kidney. So it will be invasive means malignant tumor. So it is most likely to be renal cell carcinoma RCC. Then the next image we have is of cervical rib. Cervical rib is basically the first the cervical rib is basically first rib upwards that and then it is responsible for the thoracic outlet syndrome. It can cause the symptoms related to the thoracic outlet syndrome and it can be tested by various provocative tests. Here we can see these are the first, this is the first rib and this is the Cervical rib. Cervical rib is basically coming from the C7 vertebrae. Then the next image is of cystic bronchiectasis. In the bronchiectasis, basically we will be having signet ring or bunch of grapes. It is looking like a bunch of grapes or tram track appearance. The three words, the important words which are related with the cystic bronchiectasis, signet ring, bunch of grapes and tram track. Then the next image is of Epstein anomaly. Epstein anomaly, box shaped heart and in this we need to remember that there is no pulmonary hypertension. The fields are oligemic. This is the X-ray image of the Epstein anomaly showing the box shaped heart. Then the next image is of SCFE, slip capital femoral epiphysis. It is an orthopedic condition and the classic sign seen in it is Trithoven sign. In the Trithoven sign, Cleans line, Cleans line does not intersect the lateral part of the superior femoral epiphysis. Here is the superior femoral epiphysis and the Kleene's line does not intersect the superior femoral epiphysis. It is known as Trithoven sign. Then next image is of echocardiographic image of tricuspid atresia. Here we can see there is no valve between the right atria and the right ventricle. No wall is present. This hole is like a wall. It, there is no opening through which blood can travel from right atria to right ventricle. So it is image of tricuspid atresia. Then the next image is barcode sign on stratosphere sign. And it is seen in pneumothorax. Barcode sign or stratosphere sign is seen in pneumothorax and in the normal lung we have the in the normal lung we have the seashore sign in the pneumothorax there will be only lines there will be no granular appearance then this is image of e fast or extended fast e fast or extended fast is basically used in trauma cases to know fast and quick about the life-threatening injuries like pneumothorax and pleural effusion and peritoneal effusions. So what areas we look in e fast is right anterior chest, left anterior chest for pneumothorax, right upper quadrant, 
then left upper quadrant then is sub xiphoid area for pericardial effusion and supra pubic area next image is of leopard sign or tigroid pattern it is basically seen in many conditions like mucopolysaccharidosis and other inherited conditions leopard sign or tigroid pattern is basically white and black stripes in the brain matter then this is image of inverted papilloma giving cerebriform appearance the dark and light areas are seen see it is coming from the turbinate region and going up to here it is in the form of inverted papilloma this is image of aneurysm here basically it is a angiographic image blood vessels are shown and here is a dilatation in the blood vessel it is known as aneurysm and this is image of pulmonary consolidation it is basically seen in cases like pneumonia this is image of hydro pneumothorax in hydro pneumothorax we will be having classical air fluid level then this is image of diaphragmatic eventration here from here the diaphragm is lying at this level but from here the diaphragm is pushed upward eventrated this is image of pneumothorax the lungs are appearing more blacker than the other x rays see in this x ray the lungs are not that black but in the pneumothorax there is air in the lung cavity in the pleural cavity so the lungs appear more black lung fields will appear more black then this is image of pleural effusion here the cp angle the cardiophrenic angle is blunted and this is image of pneumoperitoneum how we will identify pneumoperitoneum this is the most asked image both in neat and ini cet in this this is the left lobe of the diaphragm and this is the right and in the right, under the right diaphragm there will be air in the left also there will be air but it is due to stomach it is normal but air under the right dome of the diaphragm it is due to pneumoperitoneum means air in the peritoneal cavity which has risen up this is image of diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis or dish it shows flowing wax sign flowing wax sign due to anterior longitudinal ligament flowing wax sign also known as forestier's disease this is image of spondylolisthesis spondylolisthesis basically the one vertebra has slipped over the other see this vertebra has slipped in the front it should normally lie here but it has slipped in the front then this is image of rugger jersey spine rugger jersey spine or rugger jersey spine is basically the white and the black that is dark and light bands in the spine it is seen in renal osteodystrophy and hyperparathyroidism next images of spondylosis spondylosis is basically the disc space narrowing in the vertebrae see here the disc space is more here also it is more but here the disc space is narrowed and there are osteophytes at the corners of the vertebrae it is known as degenerative changes in the spine is known as spondylosis this is myelography the investigation here shown is myelography this is a vertebral column this is anterior segments and this is posterior segments and in between we have the spine and in the spine there is a filling defect so basically the spine is stained here white spine is here appearing white and in between there is filling defect due to any obstruction so this is basically showing the myelography mylo means spinal cord then this is image of pepper pot skull with patchy osteopenia due to hyperparathyroidism in the hyperparathyroidism basically we will be having pepper pot pepper pot means like 
ब्लैक पेपर स्मॉल स्मॉल डॉट्स लाइक स्कल विद पैची ऑस्टियोपिनिया एंड इन द एरियाज देर विल बी ऑस्टियोपिनिया मीन्स बोन वीकनेस ए वी कैन सी पेपर पॉट लाइक स्कल ओके एंड दिस इज इमेज ऑफ पेजेट्स डिजीज इन द पेजेट्स डिजीज देर विल बी कॉटन वूल और सन बर्स्ट स्कल कॉटन वूल लाइक कॉटन स्मॉल स्मॉल लोब्स ऑफ कॉटन आर देयर प्लेस्ड ओवर द स्कल द आउटर टेबल विल बी मोर प्रोमिनेंट सी हेयर द आउटर टेबल इज मोर प्रोमिनेंट एंड इट इज नोन एज एंड द प्रोट्रूब्रेंट फ्रंटल बोन फ्रंटल बोन इज प्रोट्रूब्रेंट इट इज नोन एज टैमोशेंटर कैप टैमोशेंटर कैप एंड इट रिजल्ट इन हाई आउटपुट टर्न ओवर कार्डिक फेलियर हाई आउटपुट कार्डिक फेलियर अकर इन पेजर्स डिजीज then this is another skull image of multiple myeloma in the multiple myeloma multiple punched out lesions will be seen and it is known as rain drop skull like the rain drops have fallen over the soil multiple myeloma multiple punched out lesions and this is thalassemia thalassemia classical hair on end like hairs on the ends are there hair on end appearance then this is nexus criteria according to the nexus low risk cervical spine radiography is indicated for trauma patient unless they exhibit all of the following criteria means we in the trauma patients we need to do cervical spine radiography and in which case the cervical spine radiography or cervical x ray is not done if all the five conditions are fulfilled that is no posterior midline cervical tenderness no evidence of intoxication normal alertness no focal neurological deficit no painful distracting injuries if all the five criteria are fulfilled then there is no need to do the cervical spine x ray this is the deterministic and stochastic effects these are basically two effects of radiation and we need to differentiate between them first we will be studying deterministic effects deterministic effect are due to cell killing and have a dose threshold typically several gy specific to particular tissues and severity of harm is dose dependent and stochastic effects are due to cell changes and proliferation towards a malignant disease severity independent of the dose no dose threshold probability of effect increases with the dose basically deterministic deterministic means they are determined by the dose they will not occur at any dose they occur at specific threshold and stochastic effects are basically they can occur at any dose and the probability increases with the dose it is independent of the dose then the next is the differences between neurocystis or cos and tuberculosis neurocystis or causes lesion will be smaller tuberculoma lesion will be larger then in the tuberculoma associated meningitis will be present and the most important finding is mr spectrometry neurocystis or causes will have choline and lactate that is amino acid peak while tuberculoma tuberculoma will have lipid peaks and the raised icp will be there in the tuberculoma raised icp and meningitis is in tuberculoma and focal neurological deficits are also in tuberculoma so that are all the radiological images which are most important other all images of the radiology are discussed in specific subjects like in surgery ortho ent and the most important ones which were not linked with the other topics are discussed here I hope you will find it useful if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel thank you